to others. The Kilburnley Street Fire. An historic cottage is testing a revolutionary new heating system which could make drafty old buildings a thing of the past. Scott Starvett Cottage in Fife has been fitted with the technology which should keep properties warmer for longer without huge energy bills. Jennifer Harold has more. Can you spot the heater in this room? It's not the fireplace. There are no traditional radiators. But if you look closely, you'll notice something different about the mirror. It's actually a cleverly disguised heating panel that could revolutionise how we keep our homes warm. The technology works by emitting infrared warmth, which is absorbed by all the material in the room, the floor, the ceilings, the furniture, even our own bodies. And because it's not just the air that's heated, the rooms stay warmer for longer, which should help cut energy bills. The technology is being trialled in Scott's Tarvet Cottage in Fife, a 19th century property owned by the National Trust for Scotland. The conservation charity currently spends more than a million pounds each year on gas and electricity. We own in the region of about 900 buildings right across the country. So anything that we can trial and prove that helps reduce the running cost for the organisation is better for us, it makes our money go further. Less than a mile away, Hill of Tarvid Mansion House still relies on conventional heating methods, but by switching to the new panels, could see its heating bills cut by up to 45%. Historic Scotland say homes across the country could benefit. It helps for people in rural Scotland who may not have access to the gas grid, and we know that oil is, is delivered oil in tanks is, is very expensive, so we're hoping that this, um, this radiant panel will allow um, the potential for, for cost-effective heating in all parts of Scotland, particularly in smaller houses. This winter will be the first real test of this technology, but if successful, could make drafty old buildings a thing of the past. Jennifer Harold, STV News, Fife. Still to come, one man and his dog, Sean, takes to the...